So industrial IoT, I view it as a practice. At GE, we've had a long history of Six Sigma and using methodologies and technology to improve how processes work. And so industrial IoT is taking that to another level where we're pulling data off machines and out of people and processes, and we're actually putting it into the cloud so that we can leverage a new generation of analytics to provide new insights into how those machines and processes are working with the intent to optimize them. IIoT is about connecting machines and people. SCADA and MES users are in a really interesting spot right now within industrial IoT. One of the values of HMI in the cloud is being able to more easily connect geographically distributed equipment so you can provide monitoring of a fleet. You know, when, when I talk about industrial IoT, I talk about a hybrid cloud, about there being key capability on premise and then key capability in the cloud. And SCADA and MES systems are part of that key capability on premise because they are the primary layers where we're pulling data off the machine, but also importantly, we're aggregating it and we're contextualizing it. And that's getting that data ready into a format which we can then effectively leverage by pulling up in the cloud and then analyzing it. We manufacture the equipment and we have the software that can connect the equipment. We provide the ability to easily connect that equipment to the internet and really provide additional value for our customers. Digital transformation of a utility is an amazing new thing. And now folks are having the capability of going out into the field, out into the community, collect data up that they've never been able to do because of the cost, and then pulling that back, and then using that data to better optimize their system. And that's what GE brings. We bring that transformation, that digital transformation that allows you to empower people and change their technology fundamentally and how they're acting and behaving. When we talk about industrial IoT, you know, that there's a set of KPIs that customers, all customers are always looking for. What's, what's really the material business benefit for me? KPIs vary by the problem we're trying to solve. A very common KPI for us is reducing downtime. And so there are many different ways that we can reduce downtime. We can reduce downtime through predictive failure analytics, which actually prevent an asset from failing in the first place. We can reduce downtime by measuring across many different sites, typical behavior of an asset's downtime so that we can start dispatching maintenance activities much faster. When we think about how data flows, it begins in an asset. GE is an asset company. We think in big turbines, we think in big pumps, we think in very complex devices. Inside of those devices, you really have two worlds. You have a digital perfection, which we call the digital twin. That is how it should be running, how it was designed to run. And then we have the real world of how it actually runs. And what Predix and ultimately the Web HMI product allows you to do it, compare those two worlds. I think the key thing to note is that for a company, it frees up the people to do other things. In so many respects, there are people doing tasks over and over again that once you deploy digital transformation, it's assisting them to do things faster. By doing things faster, it gives them free capacity then to start tackling new problems. So it becomes an accelerating effect of once I get this process in place and I have my existing workforce, then I solve more and more problems and then the optimization curve increases.